Hey, you guys, it's Sunshine Vibes. Just to have vibrations. If you are new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you are returning, thank you for subscribing to your girl. Love and light to you all. Let me grab. Okay, you guys. So, I am going to jump into these messages, okay? So, I do call on the highest white light of protection, Archangel Michael, as I go through these messages. Give me some clear messages at this time for my collective. What do they need to know? Okay, so you guys have already been kind of picking up on the energy. Okay, this card was just sitting on my uh, altar. Uh, so I'm getting this is, in a, this is an omen. This is a message. Something about unconditional love Her, I feel like a lot of you all are being called to embrace your love. Okay, your love for others. Know that when you work out of this heart space, you manifest the desires of the heart, okay? You cannot manifest <laughs> desires from a, a a heart space that is not healed, okay? And this could be physically, mentally, emotionally. If you are not uh, genuinely showing this unconditional love to those around you that really need it, then know that you cannot manifest the desires that you are trying to bring in because somebody is not somebody is not being pure with you and i feel like you have a pure heart so you're able to manifest somebody else is not okay let's spirit, give me one for this message for my collective for the energy current energy give me one for current energy for my collective what do they need to know at this time holy spirit mm -mm. that's a lot of chords but that's what we're here for changing your ways. Brave heart. Okay, you could be a Taurus. Okay. Or you could be this younger male. Or there is a younger male here. Okay, roles can be reversed. Energy is fluid. So this can be the time, uh, the, the present, the future, or the past. Okay, past, present, and future. So I'm all instantly picking up on somebody wanting to change their ways. Or you're changing your ways. This is making someone look at you like, oh, man, you have a brave heart. So somebody's like in love with you. Okay? They in love with the way that you embrace yourself. They in love with the unconditional love that you have for yourself. Somebody loves the fact that you have a brave heart. Holy Spirit is the active expression of God's love. Yeah, so this is, what did I just say about manifesting the desires from your heart? Somebody, somebody sees that this is why you're able to manifest because you actually work out of a good heart space here. Like you actually love yourself and others around you and the people that you don't, that do not, the people that do not show you this love, I feel like you already have a knowing to this. Okay, because you are rich in the spirit here. So I feel like, yeah, five of wands. When I said that, you have a lot of people competing with your energy and your energy is just you being enthusiastic about your life and this makes you really a leader her a lot of people look at you like you have a brave like you are really brave okay i, I want to cry because i'm picking up on the energy that like somebody just is in is admiring the fact that you are changing your ways her and this could be love. Yeah. Affirmation. I am always winning. Somebody's admiring the fact. What is that? Okay. I don't know what that was. It was a big old boom. So, yeah. Somebody is about to get a big. There's about to be a huge tower moment happening. Okay. Because of you changing your ways. I feel like there is something huge coming in this could be love okay this could be money what is coming towards my collective that is um a towel moment i'm hearing a towel moment okay five of wands in reverse yes i was already picking up on this five of wands energy a lot of people competing with your energy uh somebody see you changing your ways and instead of just accepting the fact accepting the things that you because you are in the energy of accepting the things that, that you can't change and changing what you can. Somebody is like, man, fuck that shit. They want to give up, okay, with this co competition because they think that you are ignoring this. You have faith in deeds. Let them give thanks, Lord, for his unfailing love and his wonder, his wonderful deeds for mankind. So there is something about your faith and your good deeds, her. You do a lot for people around you, okay? And a lot of people 
see this. Yeah, that you are being a good example. You are trying to be a good example for those around you. I'm hearing you are enlightening, enlightenment. Okay, so everybody's journey is different. Sometimes I even get to preaching on my channel sometimes. And I'm sorry, you guys, because I do not want to get to preaching, okay? But I'm here for enlightenment, okay? My job is to en enlighten you to, okay, the energy that's going on and also just staying connected to source, whatever things that you need to detach from that are holding you back from uh, your purpose, okay? So I'm sorry if sometimes I get on her and it sounds like I'm preaching because I'm not a preacher, okay? Okay, I am a praying warrior, though, okay? So, I, I do pray a lot for myself, my family, and my collective in the, the world, okay? Helping all humanity. So, this makes you a brave heart. When you're stepping into your power and you understand the mission here, these people can't compete with you no longer, okay? You're about to get some huge five, 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 as I said that. They cannot compete with you. What did I say? A major shift? So, five is really low vibe. So, you're about to get a major shift because you are blocking these low vibes out yeah it's three sides to every story it's something that you don't know that is going on okay somebody's playing a lot of games here this person is being blocked because i feel like this person's unwilling to uh tell you the truth tell you their side of the story but which i, I feel like you really don't give a fuck okay about what side yeah balance you really don't give a fuck i feel like you're too focused on uh bringing your own balance into your own life okay doing the things that are helping you change your own ways and succeed in life okay figuring out the things that you want in life yeah the devil leaving this devil energy behind yeah and healing others with your words know that your word is powerful okay your words are powerful yeah this is a past life connection so I'm getting that this connection could seem like deja vu. So you might even feel like you done went through this with this person before. Or you feel like you you, you had some type of connection with this person before. You have. It's a past life connection and it's strong. It's something uh, toxic. Something that you didn't learn your didn't learn in your past life from her. Yeah, I am worthy. And it has something to do with your worth. It has a lot to do with your worth. And you creating balance in your life. And changing your ways so you're able to manifest yeah and, and block out this devil energy okay why is past life connection why is past life connection here holy spirit why is past life connection here give me one card give me one card for my collective more money what did i say okay so like i said this past life connection has a lot to do with um some type of generational curse i'm hearing you had to go through this to unlock this door to abundance. I'm hearing the affirmation. Um, I am always. Uh, I'm always having things my way. Affirmation. So something about projection, heavy projection. So. This could be a past life co connection where someone was projecting lack on you. It could have been just you lacking your lacking money, lacking finances. There is something that you do that somebody just wanted you to lack in. But you created some type of balance for your stability here and your faith in your good deeds here and healing with others with your words. This is a balancing act for uh, you changing your ways and having a brave heart. Somebody else does not understand. It's three sides to every story. And, and instead of uh, stepping into their power and their truth, I feel like you are standing in your truth. It's intimidate somebody who who cannot, who is not able to tell the truth. And this is a strong past life connection that you have with somebody because it's, it feels 9-11, okay? It feels like an ongoing cycle. This person does not understand that in order to unlock unlock this uh and block this spiritual, unblock these spiritual blockages and to receive more money, they have to release this past uh five of wands energy okay yeah and quit holding things close to them that no longer serve them okay and learn how to balance out their own life by their self her okay and and love their self her this has something to do with how how you feel about yourself this has something to do with self yeah six 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 okay six 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 speaks of it upon um 
focusing on the things that matter. It's not only does it speak upon devil energy, but I feel like you conquered this devil energy here. Yeah, dreams. Something has to do with your dreams. I actually am thinking about the dream that I had a few weeks back. Um, like I seen the 1010. Okay, the thief came to steal, kill, and destroy, but he came and said they may have life and have it abundantly, John 1010. So what I'm getting is, yeah, angels protection. Somebody was projection, heavy as projection. Even in my dream state, my dream was like people was attacking each other and, and, and people was running towards me to attack me. And all I remember is waking up in my, um, uh, plug was on fire at the end. Like it was actually sparking. So like, this is going to shock a lot of people because you are still here. You still made it. But, yeah, this is a judge-free zone. Only God can judge me. Who the fuck are you? That's what I just heard. So, this is a judge-fucking-free zone. Somebody was trying to judge you, but in our reality, you changing your ways. You have a brave heart. Somebody else is in this devil energy because they are not letting go of the past. Yeah, the high, high priest in reverse. Why is 666 six, six here? Yeah, because you you have a solid foundation, and I'm right on point, Ace of Pentacles, in a sense of belonging her. Yeah, so Spirit is trying to tell you, don't be a victim, because it's three sides to every story, okay? Pick a side, pick a side. Yeah, location change, so now you are about to move locations. Spirit is, is moving your location here, because... <laughs> You have a sense of belonging, and don't be a victim. Yeah, because you manifest in love. What did I say? This was an omen. Definitely was an omen. The unconditional love that was on my uh, altar. Okay, because you're manifesting up the emperor. I feel like because you're in this energy, so pay attention. Pay attention to the decisions that you are making at this time, to the, to the things that you are entertaining at this time. Okay, so you're able to call in what it is that you really want. Yeah, because it's more to the story. Yeah, somebody really can't stop thinking about you. Somebody was trying to block this. Somebody was trying to block block this. Okay, anything else from this deck? Anything else from this deck? Pull from something else. Yeah, somebody was trying to block this. Somebody that was insecure. Somebody did not want somebody to get this love. Yeah, unseen power from God. Uh, what did I tell y'all? I'm hearing this affirmation. So some of y'all could be doing affirmations at this time. Money always flows to me. See, you, you was meant to have an abundant life. Uh, you was meant to have things flow to you abundantly here. I'm hearing. Money always flows to me. That is crazy because I'd already picked up on the energy. I could feel this like energy. Like somebody is just is meant to have an abundant life here. You, you was meant to be abundant, okay? Especially when it comes to love, money, okay? You you mastered this past life connection here. Holy Spirit, give me one for my collective. You mastered a past life connection here. Yeah, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. So you're manifesting something here, and you just need to be more practical when it comes to your dreams. Yeah, don't let your pride get in your way, okay? New full moon in Leo, so you could be a Leo. But don't let your pride get in your way. Somebody was letting pride get in their way. Pride over pity, I'm hearing. Your commitment is being tested. So you are being tested uh, for your commitment. Somebody won't stop you because they know you are disciplined when it comes to... Whatever it is that you do, collective, you are very disciplined. I feel like you you believe in yourself. Yeah. Conclusions are within reach. So something is it prosperity lies ahead. There's something coming in here. Yeah, so believe in the impossible. Believe in the impossible and communicate. A fiery climax approaches. Yeah, but you are good enough. What did I say? Affirmation. Show the world the real you. A new rom romantic cycle begins. You and your loved ones are safe. And your hard work is paying off. Somebody wanted you in the energy feeling like that your hard work was, wouldn't pay off. But it is. Yeah, you're just cutting toxic cords. Somebody can't be in your energy anymore. My spirit is like, don't be a victim because this person's energy was already exposed. Yeah, 333. Three, three, you are supported. Okay. 
Be loved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world, trying for. Okay, so you know what? <laughs> this person wanted you to go down a different path, and this is not the path that you was going going this is not the path god ordained you to go on because see there's three sides to every story and then there's more to the story so <laughs> somebody did not understand this holy spirit give me one for my collector what do they need to know this time so you could be a pisces anything else anything else for my collector with this time okay wait moving on passion so you are moving on to something what did i say merge there's you are manifesting love her somebody just can't admit their feelings for you how deep they are for you right now but they see that you're staying connected to source you you are very disciplined okay when it comes to whatever that you do What? I just don't know what I want in my life right now. Okay, Sagittarius. So this could be a Sagittarius. So somebody is really, yes, yeah, Spirit is saying proceed with caution because God favors you. There is something you don't see. There is a huge tower moment coming in for you. And there is something you really do not see because it's only for you. Okay, it's not for nobody else. So <laughs> whenever you get there, I'm hearing whenever you get there. Proceed with caution. So be very strategic on who you talk to. Use discernment and don't tell everybody your business. Don't tell everybody your business. Holy Spirit, give me one card for my collector. Young heart, the youthful energy in your eyes reveal a fun hidden treasure, allowing others to explore their own inner child. Okay. Holy Spirit, give me one. Okay, Venus. You are deeply connected to Venus, a fount of love, affection bringing otherworldly pleasures so somebody could be connected to venus here yeah but you're a teacher your words some of you also have a daughter okay your words have the power to heal making you a source of light for the wounded that come to you for guidance and wisdom to give them strength and direction what did i tell y'all teacher so what did i say when i said about um enlightenment okay we all here for different calling, 1717, as I said that. Preacher, teacher, whatever it is that you are. Yeah, psychic dreams. What did I say about dreams? Becoming more aware of your dreams can allow you to make better choices to avoid tragedy and embrace the positive changes that may be about to happen. I'm telling you guys, somebody was in my dream state. It was a lot of spiritual warfare going on, and I woke up. I was being attacked. Somebody was about to attack me, but God, but God woke me up in my whole altar up under my altar the whole plug was on fire you guys so it just lets you know like there is things in the spiritual realm we do not see yeah people can fake the funk all day long in front of your face but if you are not praying to god and asking him to remove the people who are not for you how do you know who is there for you what side are you on okay holy spirit give me more for my collector yeah, healing hands. You are able to use universal energy with your hands to help people. Spiritual, physical, or mental suffering clear energetic blockages. What did I say? So you help people clear these energetic blockages to help them be able to release and manifest the desires that they want of the heart, okay? Because you cannot manifest from a heart space that's broken, okay? If you... You have to turn that pain into passion, okay? Some way, okay? Trust his plan, not his pain, okay, you guys? Trust his plan, not his pain. Okay, give me one card for my collective. Two of swords, yes. When I say trust his plan, not his pain, there is a decision, a very wise decision that is need to be made at this time when it comes to walking away. Because some, someone wants you very unbalanced in a situation where you do not feel good about yourself. But this is not your path. This is somebody wants you blinded. Somebody does not want you to know which way to go here. But I feel like you do. Okay, why is the two of swords here? Page of Wands. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, the Chariot. Yeah, somebody does not want you going towards wish fulfillment. Yeah, somebody wants you to just give this up. They don't want you to do nothing that makes you happy. Yeah, what I say? 
King of Wands in reverse. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Somebody is just... Somebody is really arrogant. Somebody only thinks about themselves. Yeah. Ace of Wands, for that that's the truth. Knight of Cups, Five of Wands, Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody's toxic. Somebody's trying to hold somebody close to them because they're unable to um, manifest her. Somebody is receiving blockages when it comes to their finances with the Six of Pentacles in love. Why is the Knight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles right here, Holy Spirit? Yeah, strength. They being blocked. Somebody needs to find the balance between, between their higher self and their lower self. You see this? This is like half lion half human like but this is a tower because this is creating towers because somebody is not going to be fulfilled because they are not un they are um they have not went through this rebirth okay somebody has not went through a rebirth or somebody is not accepting something yeah page of pentacles somebody needs a lot of balance instead of trying to balance the situation somebody wants to lie somebody does not want to tell their side of the story oh let me just sit here and no, you have to talk, okay? God sees everything, yeah, so you can't trick the universe. Yeah, page of cups in reverse. You can't trick the universe if you're not emotional fulfilled. Somebody is just not fulfilled in life at all and in, in, yeah, a lot of areas of their life. But the wheel is turning in your favor when it comes to love, okay? But somebody is very toxic that is trying to hold you close. This could go two different ways. There's somebody here that wants to love bomb you, come in, sweep you off your feet, that, that is just, like, so infatuated. And then there's another person that is just, like, wants to ruin you because they're unfulfilled physically, emotionally. Uh, like, somebody is just distraught. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, because things are working for you. They see you working on you. And you going through this rebirth, these and, and it's nine of pentacles energy and nine of wands. Somebody is being blocked because the wheel is has turned. Yeah, the chariot. Okay. Somebody wanted to come in. Somebody wants to rush in. Somebody wants to talk to you and tell you how they feel. But somebody was too busy being sneaky and, and not explaining the truth. Okay. Not explaining their side to this story. Whatever it is. Yeah, ten of cups. Because things are working for you. <laughs> in love and finances. Okay. Anything else before I close this out, Holy Spirit? Mm. Past life cords somewhere in my bag. Let me get my past life. So I'm going to pull from my past life. I feel like this has something to do with past life connections and unblocking uh, abundance here. Give me one for my collective. And that's the past life connection. That's the past life connection. One card. Okay, so we have forgiveness. So, again, I'm telling you, this past life connection has something to do with forgiveness, okay? Something to do with your worth. Something to do with you letting go. You see these two doves over on her? Like, this is so you're able to fly. And I'm hearing your soul to fly and score high, okay? Because you have to be able to forgive someone in order to move on, even if this person has not physically gave you an uh i'm sorry you have to learn to accept that you cannot expect people to say i'm sorry just move on and and make yourself a better person this also has something to do with transportation a past life connection that has something to do with transportation so maybe you yeah then mother okay lessons and blessings but i feel like there's a lesson that you are learning when it comes to forgiveness forgiveness and transportation and finances as well 